guys? H6 Scott here and today we have another video for you guys. So recently I did a video about reasons why you shouldn't buy a Charger or Scat Pack and I got a lot of hate for it because people said these aren't reasons why you shouldn't buy one. And I guess I could have titled the video, you know, things I hate about my Charger, but I kind of wanted to give it a different title so that's why I did that. So today I'm going to make this video called X amount of things that I love about my Charger or Scat Pack. So there's no confusion of me saying you should only buy this car. This is me saying this is what I love about this car. Now we're finally getting some cold weather here in Houston, so that's why I'm wearing this jacket. Uh, I woke up this morning, it's about 45 degrees, so it's a bit chilly. So while we're in the car, one of the first things I want to say that I love about this car is this screen. Now this screen is huge and also the great thing about this screen is the Uconnect system that Dodge puts in these vehicles. Now you know, a lot of cars have, you know, different things and different, the, you know, Chevy has their MyLink and Ford has their, I don't know, garbage. But this right here is probably one of the best systems that I've used and seen in a car besides for like Tesla or something, you know, of that caliber. But for the performance cars of today's modern V8, modern muscle cars, this screen right here is by far the best. You get engine readouts, so real-time horsepower performance and stuff like that, horsepower and torque. You get uh, your current G-Force, which is pretty badass. You also get sets of gauges and real-time timers. So these timers right here are amazing. So you can get your zero to 60 from right here. As soon as I stop this car, it'll start and it'll try to record a time. So this screen right here, just the, the, the SRT pages in general, the performance pages are badass. So I guess you guys figured this part was coming as well. But the next thing that I can say that I love about this car is the way that it looks. Now, I said this in one of my other videos, but this appearance of this car is just absolutely amazing. For the amount of money that you get this car for, for it to look like this is just, I mean, I think this is one of the best looking cars on the road today. Now, with the Charger, you get a few better things than you do with the Challenger Scat Pack. And one of those things being is the hood. Now, the Challenger Scat Pack comes with the RT hood. And I mean, it's just not as aggressive looking in the front. And the Charger comes with this massive scoop in the front which basically comes on the SRTs. The Hellcat one is a little bit different, but just the front of it, the scoop, just looks, it just looks really aggressive from the front. Now, the view that most people see is back here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Now, for the longest time, I was not a fan of the new gen chargers. Now, a lot of people kept saying they look like darts and stuff like that, and they're right. The back of this car does look like a dart, especially at night, and especially from a distance, you really can't tell. There's been times where I saw a dart, well, saw these taillights, and sped up thinking it was a charger, and well, it ended up being a dart. So there's that. But this rear end has grown on me. I love it. I love these awesome vents back here. Um, it just gives it a better look, more detail to the back, but it doesn't really help when you're trying to wrap this car. So another thing that I love about this car is the power. Now Dodge puts this massive 6.4 liter 392 cubic inch motor inside of this car. Now for buying this car, well base price at $39,000, you really can't beat that. Almost a 500 horsepower car for $39,000. So tell me where you could find that and let me know. Cause this thing is amazing. Now Dodge gets a lot of hate by Chevy owners and Ford owners for how big these cars are, but I love it. This car, and that's the reason why I bought it. And this car is, amazing with carrying people as well as things when i got these wheels mounted when i got these when i first bought these wheels i had my own tires i didn't go to discount tires or something like that and buy tires for them i brought my own tires that i already had when i was taking the wheels and tires to discount tire i was trying to figure out how am i going to fit two 315s and two 275s along with four wheels in this car and well i did it without a problem so what i did was i folded down the back seat i was able to fit the tires and the wheels for the most part in the back then i had one tire in the front seat so i mean if you can fit four tires and four wheels in your car let me know just saying so another thing that i love about this car is the sound system now i did not get the upgraded beats and the reason why is because i heard that the beats in the gen 3 chargers are not the same as they were in the gen 2 chargers and on my last charger rt my 2013 i had the beats and it sounded amazing but I was heard that this doesn't sound as good. So I ended up getting just the Alpine system and the Alpine system to me is really, really good. And I think it sounds better than the Beats and I've heard both.
Now I know that Dodge also offers a Harman Kardon, but to my knowledge, they don't offer it in this car, the Scout Pack. It's only for the SRTs and Hellcats. But the Harman Kardon does sound better. You also do get an included subwoofer, but this right here sounds pretty amazing for what it is. And now I don't really want to show you guys an example of that just because of copyright issues and stuff like that playing a song, but and you really won't get the true sound of it uh, via GoPro. But I mean, if you have a chance to go to a dealership or have a friend or something like that that has this car with the Alpine system, take a listen to it. It sounds really, really good. So another thing that I love about my Charger and love about my Scat Pack, and I guess you could say Dodge in general, with the SRTs with Dodge, they don't include a spare tire. Now at first you might be like, what the hell? But what they do include is this inflatable machine. Inflatable machine, is that the right word for it? They do include is this machine that lets you pump air into your tires, we'll just call it that. And it's also a fix a flat machine. If I can move that out of the way, there we go. So underneath here, if I can get it out, there it is. Wait, nope, that's not where it is. Hold up. So underneath here, Dodge includes this pretty cool little machine here. Now here it reads your PSI, and then you can uh, put air in it, or you can put fix a flat in there. And I have had to use the fix flat one time, and it worked really well. And I use the air part all the time. So right now, this rear tire here is a little bit lower than it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and pump it up, and I don't have to go to a gas station and spend a dollar fifty if this happens when I come out and well my tire PSI goes down because of the weather. It gives you an accurate readout of how much PSI it is right now, and it fills up pretty quick. So another thing I wanna say I love about this car is the transmission. This thing shifts lightning quick. And now the eight-speed automatic transmission that Dodge offers is amazing. Uh, the six-speed, which they don't offer in the, in the Chargers, but they only offer in the Challengers, not as great. So I'm gonna show you guys right here uh, how quick this thing shifts and how great it is. I'm gonna do a quick little light pull, and I'm just gonna show you guys that how quick it goes through these gears. So right now we're in first, as you guys can see right there, second. So you guys could probably hear it a little bit, but you guys can also see it goes through first through six, and this is in track mode, so it's not meant to get through all eight gears, as it is in more of like a comfort mode, driving to work, stuff like that. But in the track mode, it holds the gears a little bit longer, and it shifts them lightning quick. Man, this transmission is absolutely amazing. So now I'm going to put it in like a more of a comfort mode, and I'm going to show you guys how well it shifts with that as well. So eighth gear at 45 miles per hour. So you have to imagine how quick it goes through those gears for me to only be at 45 and I'm already at eighth gear. So that's pretty cool. Another thing with Dodge's transmission, it senses when you're off the gas and not on it as heavy and it drops the car into a four cylinder mode. So it basically helps with economy and gas mileage. So that is also a plus to this awesome transmission from Dodge. So even when the car is in sport mode and not in the eco or default mode for it to get better gas mileage and drop into the four cylinder mode, even just the sport mode that I drive on on most day to day occasions shifts pretty quick. As you guys can see, we're in sixth gear at 50 miles an hour. And now we're at seventh and we're still doing 55. So huge plus to this transmission. I love it. Before I had a Gen 2 RT 2013, so that only had a five speed and this is like night and day difference from that. So I know it was a quick video, but I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I have awesome content coming soon. One week till we leave for SEMA. This is the last week and then we leave on Friday. So get ready for that video as well. Um, now we're just gonna head over to the RP Productions Garage. We're gonna check out his wrap getting finished, which uh, you guys, can go see on his channel i'll leave a link to that he's going to reveal the wrap here as well um so yeah we're just gonna go over there hang out for a little bit and uh watch the wrap get completed
We're here at the RP Productions garage. We got my buddy Goldmine Graphics here taking care of the stripes on Riley's car. I just wanted to say shout out to uh, Sonic for some pop <laughs> shout out to Sonic for some popcorn chicken that gave me horrible food poisoning. It's my dad, so leave me alone. I I don't know, bro. <laughs> All right, so Riley's ACR stripe is finally done and it looks, I, how do I say this? Awesome, I guess that's an easy way to describe it. Goldmine Graphics did his job, he did a great job, and man, this looks badass. It's not an ACR stripe, it's an ACR. Oh, damn. So Riley, what do you think about it? What, what, oh, what, what possessed you to do this instead of regular racing stripes down the middle like everyone else or, or something else? So this picture right here, this is the ideal Viper that I have specked out in my head and I fell in love with it and I was like, well shoot, I got a white car, this is a white car, why couldn't I try to pull off that same wrap and well, here it is and so I did a little bit of searching online to see if anybody had done it and didn't really find anything so I said, well, we'll try it out. Man, this thing, it definitely looks way better on the car than you would even just think about. You know, in your head you think, okay, that'll look cool, but seeing the you know vision come to reality, damn. And that's what I was saying yesterday. It's like, this was a thought. And mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know if it would work. I don't know if we could pull it off. And then Goldmine Graphics pulled it off <laughs> like exactly like I had. Yeah, vision. it looks really good. Really sweet. Damn. What do I do about this? Just take it off? Yeah, dude. Just, I feel like it needs to have something off. there though. Yeah, I definitely think you should take it off. I think it'll give that whole stripe too a much better look. That's true. Put a Viper logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> People would give me so much shit for that. <laughs>